What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. Yes, and that's Chris. Hi. Hey. Uh, guys, we are The Walking Dead. We are and you are The Walking Dead. Uh, yes. We are talking, Mike, season two, uh, nine, sorry, season nine, episode two, yeah. called The Bridge. And if you ask me, Mike, it's a bridge too far. Well. <laughs> Nothing like recycled jokes, man. That's right. That's right. Um, I mean... What before I get into my well, like what what overall what did you think? Because we kind of we kind of um, graded them a little bit that first uh, that last episode. Yeah. You we, know what? what, what listen, you think? this is here. Here's a funny thing. Listen, let's let's be candid with everybody. Mike and I actually yeah. started recording this episode and realized that we weren't actually recording. That's and Mike a Mike went on this long rant about what he thought about. <laughs> so now he's like, Chris, why don't you tell me your well, idea you first tell me before your idea I go first, ranting? So I can um, get it. So, um, all right. Well, overall, so you said that you didn't really enjoy this episode. I'm going to, I'll let you get back to that, but I'm going to tell you, I actually kind of enjoy this episode. Okay. I'm on the flip because I, I don't know why. I, I think I enjoyed, I enjoyed seeing Rick like hopeful. I enjoyed seeing everyone, all the, like the characters that we like come together um, yeah. I like that there was still the conflict um, that, you know, nobody likes the saviors and, and they in turn don't like them. I like that they were building that bridge. I like that, you know, I like the stuff with Maggie. You know, we got to really just see what's going on in her head. Like, I just I just kind of liked it. I mean, yes, it could. it is it a filler? Maybe. But I think it's more of a setup as opposed to a filler. Um, but I don't know. I just, I kind of liked it. I kind of, I mean, did it have a little, um, I, uh, like, yeah, it was a little tropey. Like, you know what I mean? Like it, it had, it had some, some things that were like, okay, yeah, you have to have this guy be this and yeah, that guy, Justin, you have to have that guy be a dick multiple times in the episode and yeah, you know, but what are you going to do? You know, like that's, that's, that's yeah. that. I, but I enjoyed it. I did. I, I actually, I actually, you know, kind of enjoyed it. So listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kill it. You know, mm -hmm. I definitely think that last week's episode was better. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go off of what you said with like the conflict and with this guy, Justin, there's got to be an asshole in there. Um, I do agree with, with, you know, with, with your, how you, how you, um, thought of of rick and and he's trying to do the right thing and i i i, I get that stuff right it's just um i see glimpses of what we just were upset about the past couple seasons you of see it could it could go this I, way I, and i don't want to and yeah. based based off of um what we see with the with the upcoming trailer for the next episode and stuff like that it looks like it's gonna be good yeah so again i think this is like the bridge to the next episode and even the first episode was we're just we're just getting where everybody's at and we're getting you know these, these characters feel this way and this so so it was a very similar um in setting the stage these first two episodes they were yeah. that's that's what they were about yeah um and now we had to throw this douchebag in there uh justin <laughs> and stuff like that so um listen i think i gave it a b the first episode so this one i'm going to give like i'll give it a b minus i'm not going to go too okay. crazy but overall i can agree with your points on how um like the positive things and the rick things you know rick is rick is the rick daryl stuff mm -hmm. is intriguing to me because there's a lot of well, there's a lot of pride. Guess, there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of pride, and there's and there's Rick that wants to stick by what his son told him. Yeah, and what his son wants the world to be like. Listen, dude, that's why Negan's in a cell, and not, not in the ground. Yeah, but he st but he did. All right, I don't really want to get into that. He slit the guy's throat and he survived. But <laughs> how he had he such knew a, exactly how he had such a deft hand. Okay, fine, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I agree with you about the Daryl stuff. Uh, I want to talk about the stuff with Aaron and the Walkers, so don't let me forget. But while we're on Daryl and, you know, we're on Dixon and, and Grimes, there's a lot of pride there. And it's like they, you know, Carol says, why don't you talk to them? And he's like, what? you know, it's like, because yeah. they're dudes. You know what I mean? But oddly enough, Daryl is. Like Daryl said, he's like, I've been trying to tell you, but you don't want to freaking listen. However... It's because look, he knows Daryl's right, I think, but it's because what Daryl says, thinks, and wants goes against what 
Carl wanted. So yeah, I, I think there's also, I yeah, mean, listen, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it, there's a big difference between where Daryl's coming from mm-hmm. being, being captive yeah. to by, by well, that's also, and, yeah. So there's, there's a, a piece of him that, he's that never, he, he's listen, dead. listen, say there's, say there's, um, 20 saviors helping out or something like that. Right. There's like probably 15, 16, 17 that are that will transition. Yeah. You know, we saw a rat uh, with with uh, <laughs> not a rat, but we saw a rat with <laughs> with um, what's the name? What's the hot one? Uh, Abraham's chick, Rosita. We saw a rat, Rosita, <laughs> and a rat, you know, a rat stabbed her, and she's like, oh, yeah. well, you stabbed me. This kind of, so I can see, and then the other girl, the blonde girl with the neck tattoo, I'm sorry, guys, that I forgot the name. Yeah, well, they're together, right? They're, those two are Yeah, they see, there's stuff. a lot yeah. of relationship stuff brewing on, but you can tell that they're the, the ones that are kind of conforming to the new way. But, of course, there's always going to be a handful of these people. Now, I wrote this down as a question for you. Like, who do you think's right? Is Daryl right? Is Rick right? What should, what should they have done? Should they just take these guys out? Should they just say, "All right, you're on your own now"? What, what do you What do you think? Uh, who's right, and what should they do? I think, to be honest, I think I'm gonna side with Rick, but I'm I I believe in the cautiousness cautiousness of Daryl. But the problem is, something has to give at some point, and Rick's Rick is saying, "Look." W- we have to forgive or at least allow because if we don't what we're trying to do which they all they all agreed including Daryl this is what we want to do i you yeah. know like seeing the signs up you know the sanctuary in alexandria and the kingdom and and then on another tree it said the future like that kind of gave yeah. me a little bit of chills cuz i was like yes like yeah. that's what you want you know and yeah. later on when Aaron's laying down and, and, you know, and he's talking to Rick and he's like, I believe in this. He goes, if I die because of this or because of what, you know, if I die, he's like, at least I was a part of that. So you've yeah. got to make that happen. So I, 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 I side with Rick, but I you understand, understand, but don't forget, Daryl's coming from Daryl is a very messed up man. And he's, and he's, he's at the point where he's like, I'm never going to trust these a-holes because they're, they're disgusting to me, you know, and you know, and he's not wrong. He's not wrong in that, but Mm -hmm. you have to, what do you do with them? What do you do with the ones that aren't, you know? So that's what I'm looking for. But that's the thing you see. Now that's the thing, man, is that we won. It's, it's, it's Rick won. You lost. And only because, only because the sanctuary and Negan made it that way. They're the ones that made it sides. Mm. They're all human beings and they all should have worked together. But no, you had to go side with this man and now he's defeated. So because you made it a good versus evil situation, uh, you know, and you yeah. and you drew a line and you chose that side, well, this side won. So it's just like a war, okay? And mm-hmm. in the war, you know, World War One and Two, Germany lost. And guess what they had to do? They had to they had to bite the bullet. OK, they had to suck it up and they had to take their medicine, so to speak. And that's what these people have to do. So I'm sorry, but that's what happens. Like, that's yeah. what happened. If I was on the sanctuary side, would I be pissed and upset? Sure, of course I would. But you know what? I'd also be like, well, I do want to survive. These people are building a future. I think I want to be a part of that. Future. Yeah, you have, a se- you have a second chance, you know. So yeah, not to mention, chance. not to mention that they are supplying the sanctuary with everything. They're giving them all the help that they don't really deserve. But then again, where's that? Where is the? Where is that deserving? They're humans. Yeah. This is done. We squashed it. Let's all move forward. And I believe in that. So, you know. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, no. I mean, listen. I uh, I agree. You know. Now <laughs> let, I agree with you. Let's talk about real quick. The um, I just wanted to talk about the walkers and stuff. And yeah. the other reason why I did enjoy this episode is because walkers became a thing again. And here's the thing. I think. Okay, so previously we got to a point where they could go in and clear out a herd by themselves, right? They could they're they're unstoppable, right? But this made it seem like yes, everybody is capable now. There's everyone's everyone's capable. 
No one's no one's running and shying away. Well, some do run, but well, there were there were a few that ran. A right, few but saved but people. for the most part, they shing knife comes up. They got a stick. It doesn't matter. They they take them out. But it's they are still dangerous. They know that they're not they're not like ah oh, yeah they're nothing you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But it's it's great to see that that I'm so happy that they put that situation in. They were doing something. Walker showed up. It crushed the dude's arm really badly, dude. That was nasty. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I can't. I, was... I feel so bad for Aaron because I kind of like Aaron is kind of one of my favorite characters. Even the last season, yeah. he was a little bitch, but um, I guess he was going through a lot, you know. But um, oh, you know, and don't yeah, forget, no. they're, he's taking care of Gracie too. Yeah, he talks to Daryl about that too, and he even says to Daryl, "Wait until you have one of your own." That was or like, something like that. I was like, "Shut up, dude." Yeah, but like... um, <laughs> but dude, we got we got a log ride, man. Yeah, it was cool. Like, like I, I that was, watching, was uh, that was cool, man. It was cool. They were like rubber rubber logs and foam logs and stuff like that. They were talking about on uh, on the Talking Dead and yeah. how they, uh, you know, how they. They shot got, it. And, did yeah. shot that gag and stuff like that with Aaron's arm and how they shot like the logs rolling down the, the hill. That would be I mean, listen, I I always like this. That's one of the biggest things that I complained about is that the walkers weren't the number one threat. Yeah. Um, it's funny though, too, because even in the end, when everybody's kind of like kumbaya and they're in the dark and they're yeah. sitting in the camp and stuff like that, and everybody's with whomever they're with now and stuff like that, and these yeah. Anne and Gabriel getting a little Oh, you that's know, cool. You know what though, man? I'm okay with that, dude. I'm okay with I'm that okay too. With it, that. It's, These it's, are two it's cool, outcasts, but... and they and they relate to each other. I'm yeah. fine with that. I'm fine well, with Anne being helpful. And <laughs> my my point is with that is is let that herd come through when they're all singing "Kumbaya" by the fire. Oh, you know, like in like in season one, right? It's um yeah, it's uh, it's a, a different uh, different kind of day if if it happens if it happens if it happens then so it's cool we got to see a lot of there's a lot of that relationship so they're really pushing that stuff and i think that's a big angela kang thing you know what and i'm and i'm i'm kind of fine with it because again they this show is big set piece people talking big set piece people talking big set piece people talking and and like the show's always been that and yeah and then again i'm not a writer i'm not the writer for the show i'm not the showrunner blah 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 i get that but you know, that's just the formula that, that it follows, and that's fine. I will also say I just enjoyed that everybody's got a place. Even that, that kid, what's his name, that guy that's that was with the from the sanctuary, the blonde? And he was like, listen, we got to talk about the sanctuary. He's like, oh, oh more um, guys walked off. And, you know, the yeah. guy that from last season were like, who is this idiot? Yeah. You know, and and um, they've got the, – I like the setup and, you know, uh, Tara's up in the thing and – I just like that whole thing, you know. I like. Well, that. they're working. They're working together. I mean, they're working together very well. Obviously, how they. If, it's all. It was all Justin's fault. That's that dickhead savior. That they put him in into a crucial position, and he and he fucks up. Yeah. And that's the the whole reason the walkers came in the first place. But how about uh, quickly Enid? I mean, what do you think of her kind of stepping up? Um, I like it. it. They're giving her character something to do, and I like. Yeah. It. She's, she seems to be like the little child prodigy. Of, yeah, if they're going to uh, keep Sadiq her around. And... Right, sorry. If they're going to keep her around, then yeah, yeah, then that's good. And him training her to be a medic, that, that works out good. You know, that, yeah. that works out great. Again, I just, I enjoyed the episode because of these things, because of these little things. They're on the talkies. They're they're redirecting herds. Like, they're taking all their knowledge. And I mean, yes, they've been doing that kind of, but now it's well, like. that's what it is. It's, it's interesting for us because it's been a year and a half. Yeah. So yeah. they're they're definitely bombarding us with all right. This is what they've been doing in that time, and very just, much, very much like cool. the comic too, right? Because yeah. this is what they did in the comic. Remember, they used the horse yeah. and, they, and they would redirect and they would do all this stuff. Like they're learning how to like it's just a thing now in their life. It's a dangerous thing, but and it has been for a while. But at least this point, it's like oh, now we have this system set up, and they're renaming all the roads and everything and. Like I yeah. said, I, set up video probably, but it's I uh, set up video, um, you know, set up episode maybe. But I, I enjoyed it. I actually, and the more I the more I think about it, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't I didn't I didn't hate the dialogue, you know, except when he says is like, he's like, you couldn't even pay me to stay or something. That guy Justin, he's like, in fact, I'm not even <laughs> waiting till morning. I'm out of here. All right, whatever. Fuck dude. you guys. Right. So, oh, so, um, <laughs> um, what happened? What I mean, let's get into a little bit of Maggie and 
And all right, before we go over to the stuff. end of that, all right. So, Mac, yeah, man, like so. I mean, what? Right, you... Well, what happened to the what happened to the guys? What do you think happened to the guys that were supposed to drop off the ethanol? I think they I think they got taken by the whisperers. I think they got they got taken. I think the whisperers are coming. We know the whisperers are coming. I think this is the start of it. This is how it started. Remember, there was groups in the in the. Uh, did you get that far in the comic? I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, but spoiler alert: in the comic, yeah. guys come back and they say that they got they got attacked by a group of walkers, but some they got cut. Like some of them got cut, and they heard whispering, and they were like, and then everyone's like, "Wait, what?" You know? So like that's what we're gonna end up seeing. I guarantee some of these guys are gonna make their way back. Some of these people that are, are missing from the city, I bet you they'll make their way back either to the sanctuary and they're going to tell uh, Carol because Carol's yeah. he- heading the sanctuary for now. She didn't get there yet, but you know what I mean? So that might happen. Yeah, no, they might, I agree. You I know, agree. Um, I agree. Yeah. Um, the Earl, the Earl thing, you know, uh, the blacksmith. What, what do, do you think? think, man? I mean, what do you think? It's I been mean, a month. He was in there a month. I, well, when you were talking about dialogue, I think that was really good dialogue. I think the fact that Maggie really, when she comes and visits him, she doesn't really necessarily say anything, but this guy kind of just like spills spills the beans and talks about a story about um, he was supposed to pick up his kid from the babysitter and, and he, he stopped off at the at the bar before and the babysitter was apprehensive of trying to take his keys and didn't want yeah, the, the, yeah. you know um, <clears throat> the son to go with him. So I just think that I mean that was a, that was a great dialogue and uh, Maggie relating and taking some of Michonne's words and Jesus's words, um, of uh, of wisdom about um, wh- you know what are we gonna do lock this guy up forever kind of a thing and and yeah. and you know everything with Herschel and how Herschel had the issue. Well, that's she, all, yeah exactly. She's like my dad. I mean? My dad got my dad had you know was given a second chance and yeah you know and then that look that's the right first of all. You have a blacksmith. You just put him on the supervision. You let he's already sorry. He's probably not going to do it again. Let him work it off. Let him work it yeah. off by fixing things. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. That, I mean, that was that was interesting. And how um, Michonne talks about common laws. We need common laws throughout every every place. I'm sorry about the dog. My dog is 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 barking. Um, it's all right. The dog has opinions. Hold on. <laughs> what about so? We're still talking about they're still and they're using these ideas from that woman that showed up last season. And yeah, they have well, the, the book is still on that was what Rick was he was looking at yeah. the book and he turns it over and he's like, damn it, you know, like so we're getting like two storylines here. Like they've set they're setting the stage for that to come yeah. and we're gonna deal with these whisperers, right? Most likely, and then and then we're gonna end up going over here. So and, and Maggie even says, she's like, well, you know what? But I'm here now and I'm doing it my way right now. She's like, I know that those people are doing their thing. She's like, yeah. and that's fine, but we're here doing it this way. You know? Well, that's what it is. She 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 knows that they're prospering the most. And maybe that's why she's a little bit, you know, like that. Like this is, you know, almost because like she fleeting, can. Because it's fleeting. Because it's always fleeting. It could go yeah. like that. It could go in a yeah. heartbeat. And she knows that. And she knows yeah. that. Yeah. But she, I mean, she woke up a little bit. She still does say it's going to be my, you know, final judgment to my people kind of a thing. But yeah. um, listen, the ground rule thing, a common law thing was 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 uh, was was interesting stuff. Yeah. So I think so. Yeah. Um, all right. So listen, let's round it out. Let's let's just talk about it, man. We talked about we think those whispers are, are grabbing those guys. So Justin at the end, yeah. he sees somebody and he. He obviously gets recognizes them. Taken, I guess. I, all right. I, I say that's a red herring. I say it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, no, he didn't really get taken. You know, like they, you know, they hit it could have been the head. Or it could have been. Did they? Yeah, it seemed like they like knocked him out. Or did they just grab him because maybe there was wisp like a group of walkers coming and they and they were hiding already and they said get in here type of thing. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't, my biggest thing is who is, who who is it? Right. Well, that's you know? well, that's what I'm saying. I <laughs> there's mean, a lot of there. But you know a what? Lot of theory I, about but that I welcome now, that. But... I welcome that because that's something we don't get a lot of in this show. We don't get yeah. a lot of that little mystery thing. So why not throw a little mystery in it, man? Yeah. Like what? Well, there's not? a lot of it's a lot of mystery. I mean, there was some people thinking it was Heath. I'm like, I don't know mm. when he would have been in contact with this dude justin um he isn't from know. the sanctuary he's from alexandria yeah, so, so it's like yeah i, I mean, don't th- 
Yeah, it, it's strange. If it was the guys that were supposed to drop off the ethanol, what are they doing in the woods like that in the first place? Um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, – it's obviously somebody that he recognizes. So let's see where it is. And like don't you forget, said, it's a mystery thing, which is interesting. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that we don't recognize. <laughs> like there's a lot of people that were like, wait, what? Who is this? Who is that? You know, they just they just put a lot of faces on screen and they're recurring faces. But well, I think it's going to be somebody that we know. I don't think it's going to be anybody that I, in, in, unless it's somebody that like, is it Daryl? Is it one of our guys that like followed him out or something? You know what? It you know? could be Daryl. That's a good. See, now I I'd believe Daryl over um, Heath, you know, because at least Daryl's got a reason to uh, like walk the guy, you know, follow the guy down or whatever, you know? How so. about the, how about the little kid? Um, I mean, sure, but I don't think it, because it didn't look like he looked down at someone, right? I don't know. I mean, Unless the kid was on someone's shoulders or something. Or he was, <laughs> he was riding was a walker. It was Ezekiel and the little kid on his, yeah, no, yeah, Ezekiel's, no, like... Ezekiel's proposing to, well, oh, yeah. oh, he's giving her the ring. Let's not yeah. gloss over that. He, yeah, he gave her the ring. She realizes that, you know, yeah, all right, I'll be... Oh, I'll... let me see that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He goes to get down. She's like, no, no, stop, stop. He's no, like, yeah, stop. But, yeah, but... Yeah. I liked it, man. But, I, well, I, I mean, it. listen, I uh, the, the last thing that I really wrote was um, we finally see Negan, which you get the little bit of dialogue of Rick talking to something, to yeah. some, obviously him in the beginning of the episode, but I don't want... I mean, listen, I mean, Rick is there to gloat. He's there to kind of say, listen, asshole, look at what I've done. I feel like he's there mm -hmm. just really like bragging, saying we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're building yeah. this bridge. And, yeah, yeah. And, and Negan, obviously, even though the guy is behind bars, he's sitting in a dark cell. He's still he's so manipulative yep. and he knows what to say. And and Rick is just talking about what, what they're doing and and and. And uh, he passes Negan's it. just like he just, just like that bridge is going to be a just a memorial of the people that, you know, yeah. that died, you know. So it's like at, in the end, it, there was almost I don't know how you felt, but it was almost like Rick was like not s scared. No, he was like, yeah, he was pissed. He got pissed like, because well, cause cause Negan still Carl. Well, obviously. that's the thing. Negan still gets to him. And of but, course, he mentioned Carl because he's like, you're yeah. just doing it for Carl. Yeah. <laughs> you just do what Carl wanted, and then yeah, of course, and he's like, keep your name out of his out of your mouth. Like, of course, if that's the easiest way to get to Rick, because Rick's on edge, man. Rick's on total edge with everything, because he's the linchpin of all this shit, and yeah. he sees how it could go down very easily. And people are already writing, "We are still Negan" or whatever the hell, you know. So it's yeah. like, come on, like, of course, you say one thing to this guy, he's gonna flip the f out. So of course, you know. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was cool to see a little bit um, a little bit of of uh, of Negan in this one, but he just knows exactly how to, does, you know. Man. Oh my God! And there was I don't know. I just saw at the end there. It was just like a little bit of like not fear because you're scared of Negan. The guy's locked up, but maybe a little bit of um, realization and reality kind of checked in. Like, what if this guy's right? What if he's right? Exactly. You know? What if this guy's right? And I'm no good. Of course, it's doubt. Well, I mean, doubt. listen. He says he, he puts says doubt. to yeah. yeah. He says to Aaron Rick. He says, um, you know, I put the project forward uh, first, and I've been pushing everybody so hard. He, yeah. he says it even to Daryl because Daryl was his, was in the tent too. And yeah. um, you know, let let's let's see let's see what happens. Yeah. Because uh, I uh, I think <laughs> I, I I like it. I like it, and I hope I you know it's. It's you know it's winning me back and 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 I hope, you know I just was yeah let's see what happens the next episode yep. looks pretty cool. Yeah yeah it definitely does I mean so, I think uh, I think we're wrapped up with this one. I think we're wrapped up. I'm just glad you finally watched the coming attractions. You never watch those things. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm always like oh do you see it? you're like no and I'm like damn it I can't really talk about it then. Uh, all right cool stuff cool stuff so That's guys right. uh, that is gonna do it. Um, you know, yes. uh, you know, you can, you can please, you know, let us know what you thought of this episode. If you agreed with anything that we said here or disagree, that's fine. That's your prerogative yep. and it's the internet. So you have to tell us what you feel. That's um, right. That's right. Right in the comments below, obviously to the video. I want to know what you guys thought about who, who took Justin. I want to hear everybody's ideas theories, about that. Yeah. Is Daryl right? Is Rick right? Let us know what you guys think. I mean, overall, I think, um, the season's been 
okay so far, but let's uh, let's keep it going. I think it's going to get a little bit more interesting. So yeah. uh, let us know what you think. Third Person Pod, of course, on YouTube. Third Person Pod on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And check us out on iTunes as well. Yep, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. And uh, hey, if you are if you like Into the Badlands or love it as much as we do, uh, yes. please check out um, our Into the Badlands content on this channel. We've been doing a lot of different interviews with um, the, the creators of the show, actors and, and, and directors and costume designers and you know, yeah, we're very, very lucky we've been. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we've also got the Into the Badlands trivia show. Um, and, uh, you know, go check that out. We've got more episodes coming up. We've got more guests coming on to that thing. If you want to be a guest on that show, by all means, let us know. And, uh, you know, come test your knowledge on that trivia show. But uh, we're really proud of everything that we're doing on for that show. And, uh, yeah, go check it out. Let us know what you think. And uh, so that's going to do it. We'll see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. Good night, guys.